What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you this super cool flying card kind of like effect. It's more of a mask effect. Uh, what I want to do is you're going to see if I push play, it's going to look like this. And then the cards are going to just kind of animate and then kind of, you know, pop in this screen and then kind of go out of the uh, frame. So for this to work, it's very, very easy. I already got one. I went onto Google and I added the... Uh, I think it's this one here. It's a PNG image, so it's transparent. So I'm gonna drag this above my timeline like that. Trim it, because it's an image. And I want this to last the whole entire video, so I'm gonna click and drag, and just drag the end to that end of that video. So what we wanna do is kind of mimic the same motion or effect as the other cards. So I'm gonna select the Uno card with the clip selected, and I'm gonna go over to the Transform tool, and then I'm going to make this smaller. So get it to a size that you think looks nice so a little bit smaller something like this and i also want to start this off kind of tilted so i'm going to click and drag this inner circle kind of outwards to spin this so i'm going to go like that and i'm going to go to the beginning and i'm going to zoom out to 50 percent so i can see the outside grid and enable that by pressing this button right here by the way drag the card below so it's out of the frame and you're going to add a keyframe over here in the left so this top left, so click to add a new keyframe. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go a couple of frames like around here when the, the new card comes up, or if you don't have any cards, all you gotta do is just click and drag this up and you're gonna see a red line with an arrow indicating where the, uh, where the actual location is going to move as you can see. So I'm gonna start this off here and I also want this to tilt even more, so something like that. So now when I go back and I kind of push play, it's gonna look like that, but we have to keep the motion kind of going. So it's gonna tilt, it's gonna stop around about here. And then we're gonna go a couple of more frames. And then now we're gonna to start to turn it all the way this way. So it'll look kind of like this. Once it goes to the end, like around here, I'm gonna turn it even more and then drag it down. So it's gonna look something like this. And now I don't like the way that this came down <laughs> for some reason. So on that very last frame, I'm just gonna turn this all the way like that. So now when I go and push play, it's going to animate a little bit better as you can see. To adjust the speed of this, what you wanna do is select the Uno card, right click on the video and go to show video animation. And you should have a couple of keyframes under transform. So play around with dragging one of the keyframes closer to each other for a more quicker effect like that. Or if you want it to be really slow, just drag them outwards. Quick break for today's sponsor, Motion VFX. If you're an editor like me and hate having to spend so much time on effects, transitions, and titles, then their plugins will come in handy. I've used their products before for my own projects for five years now, and many of their elements you see in my videos are because of their amazing plugins. They have every plugin you can imagine for any type of project you're working on with cool cinematic features, great LUTs, and all sort of templates. For example, the MTuber 3 plugin is an excellent choice for any YouTuber or content creator looking to spice up their videos. With the MTuber 3 plugin, you get 72 time-saving visual tools like animated lower thirds, subscribe buttons, chapter bars, intros, and more. If you prefer the more cinematic route, the MTitle Cinematic 2 plugin is just for you. You get movie-inspired titles for a truly filmic aesthetic. These are only a few of their many products on their website. Motion VFX develops your plugins in-house by a team of world-class coders and motion designers, and they simply work seamlessly even on M1 computers. I'll have a link down in the description description of this video if you want to learn more about their products and ways you can make your own video that more interesting. So uh, once you have done your keyframing, what you're going to do is go over to the clip here in the timeline. Make sure you select it and right click and create a new compound clip. Just type in Uno New because I've already named it Uno. So we're going to go with the effects and we're going to masks, go to draw mask, add that onto the compounds clip. That way, when we add the mask, it's not moving with the keyframes and the transform that we did. So this kind of makes it so it's like a new layer or a new clip uh, without any effects. So we're gonna go to the beginning here and we're gonna just make a selection of where your subject or object is going to be. In this case, it's in the right side of the area or of the video. And so I wanna mask out the area that we want to hide. So like in this case, we're gonna select his shoulder. What this will do is it will make it so it kind of cuts the card off so it gives it the illusion that it's going behind him, if that makes sense. So we're gonna make our selection go around like that. So now when we disable the uh, bottom clip, you should only be able to see the card and maybe even the mask that you did, which is what we want. So now we're gonna re-enable the bottom clip by pressing V, and then we're gonna select the main clip, and now we're gonna go to the inspector window, go to the beginning, 
and then just add a keyframe next to control points and then go frame by frame. So right here, I might want to adjust the control points. So something like that. And then you're gonna go frame by frame and then just move these um, control points to the original main clip here. So, so right here, it's getting cut off. So I'm gonna move it like that. Okay, so once we have done that and we go back through and play it kind of through like with the keyframes, you should be able to hide with the mask. So this is without the draw mask and then this is with it. So we're just selecting or hiding the outside of this card. So now when we go back to fit and then we go and push play, it'll look just like that. And then you can also feather it too if you think it's too harsh of an edge. So like right here, uh, we can feather that like this or the other way. So we can do, I personally like going inwards just a tad and then adjust the fall off. So now when I push play, looks perfect. So now all we gotta do is go over to the effects, go to blur and then add a directional blur. Again, this is all built into Final Cut Pro, so you don't have to leave the app. And then what you're gonna do is pretty much increase the amount. So first we're gonna change the direction, so it's coming up, so the speed with the blur should look like that. And then once it's about here, we're gonna add a keyframe under amount and angle, and then we're gonna play it through, and we're gonna kind of change the angle of this a little bit, and then we kind of go through, and now we change the direction, like that's fine. So now I'm gonna go and push play, It'll look just like that. So, so clean. Let me know what you think of this effect. Uh, I know it's very simple and pretty straightforward. But with that being said, uh, I'll catch you on my next video. I do have a bunch of videos lined up. With that being said, peace out.